There is a healer in every child and they know when the time is right, when the tools are right, the skills and the, everything is facilitated, everything is provided. They themselves stand up to cure themselves and uh, clean up their traumas. Uh, what is more important to be educated about yourself and your body and your happiness and your uh, clearing of your traumas of the past and having the, the, uh, the, uh, the knowledge, the insight of how to laugh, how to be joyful and bring the laughter, the, the positive attitude to, to your family, to your society. so much that can be done in Afghanistan, especially for the children who have the majority. They are, you know, Afghanistan is the youngest country in the world, and uh, uh, they, they have suffered the most. There are some values in uh, being happy, being joyful, being confident, uh, and uh, uh, having the right attitude toward uh, yourself and the life that is much, much more important and constructive uh, than the conventional education, especially for a country that has been suffering of the war uh, for so long time. We didn't know what to do, how exactly to do it, but we listened to the children. Uh, you know, we, me, myself, I never saw a circus before made one. I, I saw in the TV, I, but I have never been in a circus, like a typical circus tent, never been there. But I knew it has to be circus because it has to be strong, and magical, and fantastic, and bombastic. You know, that's what children want. A depressed, uh, traumatized child, you cannot uh, use the blackboard and uh, a poster to teach them anything. You need a clown. You need... You need something huge, bombastically uh, fascinating and full of joy to start opening them. And then uh, you need to make them engaged in something which is strong enough, amazing enough, uh, mo uh, and uh, motivating them enough to be part of it. And that's all uh, circus was. It a, a, there are tons of different pedagogic elements in, uh, in circus, in physical art, uh, that can be used for uh, children, both uh, individually and collectively, uh, to cultivate them, to bring them to their senses, to make them uh, clean up their traumas and rebuild their identity based on what they have, what is left for them. Even if they are, not, even if they are barefoot, they have no shoes in them. Fine, you have the legs still, you have the foot on place, you can dance, you can jump, you can, you know, uh, that's the basic. We are somehow uh, convinced by the children that we should forget about all the conventions built up in the universities and, you know, the pedagogies that are, uh, you know, we should go back to the children themselves and focus on them. So one try to survive, the other one to live. And surviving makes you uh, just survive. You, you, you lose the spices, the sense of living, the joy of the living. But you become very good in surviving. The war, if you consider it o it's over, then it is over. It is really over. If you really stop surviving and start living. I want to thank uh, Holland. These people amazingly have been supporting us for so long time, and uh, we are all so thankful and uh, astonished how come from all people of the world, uh, Holland, uh, the Dutch people are so kind to us. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Holland. Welcome. More than welcome. Thank you.